What's up guys, Enos here again, bringing you guys a Black Ops 3 video. Got some sniping gameplay in the background. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and throw some music on. I meant to start doing this a while back. I put it on one video and I was like, I'm going to start doing this. And I completely forgot about it. So I'm going to try to find three or four tracks and just kind of cycle through them. And then we'll update them every once in a while. Hope you guys enjoy that. But uh, today I want to be talking about something that kind of stems off of what a rogue bludger was talking about in one of his past videos. He was talking about COD 4 and it being remastered and how much he's looking forward to playing it. So I kind of wanted to go back and think. You know, he started ranking some of his Call of Duties to tell him what his favorites were. I'm going to rank these kind of as my favorites, okay? They're not going to be what was the best or the worst. Um, and they're not going to be ranked according to what everybody else thinks. Um... So I, I'm just going to you know, rank mine, and then I'll give you guys a little breakdown on why I rank them that way. Alright, so number one, my, my favorite Call of Duty of all time is MW2. And that is simply for a few reasons that are not really gameplay oriented, I guess. Um, one, it was because it's the Call of Duty I basically learned how to play Call of Duty on. You know, I mean, like, everybody has that one Call of Duty that they started on, and they progressed a lot, and they got better at it, and things like that. That was that game for me, all right? Our first year of college, me and a rogue budger spent way too much time playing MW2, and, uh, you know, we we got pretty dang good at it after a while. You know, he's he's obviously probably still a little bit better than I am at that game, because he's played a whole lot more. Um, but that is my favorite Call of Duty. I love the kill streak setups. I love the fact that you can end the game with the nuke if you get a 25 kill streak. I love, you know, the 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 way the guns sound, the way they feel. I like the the gun balance is not too bad, with the exception of things like the UMP and a couple of the shotguns. Um, and I really liked, you know, the idea of of the amount of bullets it took to kill. I guess it's not really an idea. I like I like the time to kill. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I really like the, the time to kill on that game. So that was probably my favorite. Number two for me is going to surprise a lot of you, and it kind of surprised me when I thought about it, but number two is Ghost. Like, I really, really enjoyed Ghost. I mean, obviously there were those days where, you know, you just hate the game, you want to break it in half and throw it across the room and into the garbage, but I really enjoyed Ghost. It wasn't bad for me. I mean, it, it had its flaws, obviously, just like every game does, um, but I really didn't mind it. I played... I played that game probably with other people more than any other game. Maybe Advanced Warfare, I played with other people more, but it was it was close. I played Ghost a lot with uh, Big D, D Main. Um, I played a lot with with uh, Timber Ghost, and I really enjoyed that game. Like I had fun. I was really good at it, and I was I was really I really enjoyed playing that game every day. I'd come home and play that with them, and I actually really enjoyed it. I was surprised that that was so high on my list. Um, but number three is COD 4. Now, I haven't played COD 4 a lot. COD 4 is one of those that was on a downhill slide before I really started. But me and a bro bludger went back a couple times and played it and kind of got us, you know, got us a lobby that wasn't hacked and things. And I suppose you can more now because it was remastered. Everybody got excited. But, like, I actually enjoyed that game a lot. It was good. I liked the, you know, obviously it was basic. There was not really a whole lot, there wasn't a whole lot to it. Um, it was the first game that had create a class. There wasn't streaks you could pick and things, but it was solid. Like, the guns were solid. Um, the time to kill was solid. The spawns were not terrible. They didn't flip very well, <laughs> but they weren't terrible. Um, and I, I generally liked it. The connection was pretty, pretty dang spot on, too. I don't understand how we keep getting worse connections in Call of Duties, but we do. Um, but I actually enjoyed that game. Like, it wasn't bad. Um, I don't really have a whole lot more to say on it just because I haven't played it a lot, but I'm looking forward to playing the remastered version just so I can get back to, to playing it, you know? Um, number four is Black Ops 2. I hated Black Ops 2 pubs because of shock charges, trip mines, and everything else that's also in Black Ops 3. Um, but we'll talk about that later at the Black Ops 3 end of it. But I really did not like Black Ops 2 pubs too much in the time that it was big. I, about halfway through, I started playing a little better. I don't know if it was something I did or what. I actually got a new account because mine got locked. And for whatever reason, I got locked out of my account. And uh, Xbox would not let me back in, and they were not willing to help me. Um, so I changed accounts, and I actually started doing a whole lot better when I changed accounts. I really don't know why. It's just kind of a coincidence, I guess. Um, 
but I, I started doing a lot better. I started using some of the guns that I felt comfortable with. I liked a lot, and I, I, I don't know. I really liked that game, and I kind of started progressing a lot as a player at that point. Um, because up until then, I played with Big D and D Main, and they were, you know, all of us were kind of around the same skill level, and we were pretty bad, so we just camped up a lot. <laughs> but uh, at that point, I really started playing the way I do now, and I got a lot better. And I liked that game. Me and a Rogue Bludger played arena mode a lot, and I love arena mode. It's not quite the same in Black Ops 3, but I liked arena mode a lot. Uh, next is Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is probably the number five spot on my list. I, I do enjoy playing it. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not bad at it. This month in general, the month of May, I have been turning up. I've been dropping 40 and 50 kill games like there's no tomorrow. There are games where I go and I end with like a two or three KD, and I'm frustrated because I'm like. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I don't think I did very well, and I don't like that's just how good I've been playing the last couple of weeks, and uh, I'm enjoying myself. I really am. I, I don't particularly like some of the guns, like the DLC guns that are oddly balanced, like the marshals that are overpowered as crap. Um, I, I don't know, but for the most part, it's not too bad. Obviously, shock charges, trip mines, I cannot stand those. I hate those, and I hate the fact that I have to run extra perks if I want to avoid avoid them, basically, because you can't always see them. I mean, if they put them on a seal and then you can't get away from it, it's stupid. But it, it amazes me that everybody complained about Ghost had chuck and forget IEDs that were on the walls that blended in pretty well, but yet in this game, nobody complains that you have shock charges and trip mine that you can throw on freaking roofs. I don't understand that, but whatever. Um, but other than that, I really don't mind this game too much. Other than the specialists, I could have done without the specialists. I die a lot from those when I really don't think I should. Like the other day, I was probably a good 10 to 15 feet away from a guy that was a ripper. Uh, or that was using the ripper, and I heat waved him. And through the heat wave, while I'm trying to reload because I just killed two other people in the same room, he rippers me. He goes out of, his, out of the heat wave and rippers me. Like, I don't even understand. Like, he is completely heat waved. It's like a good second and a half after I heat wave him. Okay? He's in the midst of the heat wave. I'm starting to shoot him. It's not even really starting to wear off at that point, and he just rippers me. I was like, is that, that defeats the point of me heat waving him. But, you know, it is what it is. Specialists aren't all bad. They're, they're kind of fun sometimes, but. Uh, next is going to be another surprise, probably, is MW3. I really, I really enjoyed MW3's face off playlist. Um, and I did. I liked the IS, or the ICR, the ACR. I liked the MP7, uh, and I actually had a lot of fun with that game. It was a little bull crappy. Some of the guns were unbalanced. Uh, there was a lot of stupid stuff in that game, but I can go back and play it now and do really well on it, and I enjoy it a lot. And uh, you know, it, I don't know. It was one of those games that you either did really well or really bad. There was really no in between. Um, but yeah, you know, you guys know it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Next is Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 for me was probably one of my least favorite Call of Duty simply because it was extremely inconsistent for me. I really did not, like I didn't like the FAMAS. I, at the time it was big. I didn't really, I wasn't very good. So I couldn't really aim the FAMAS too well with the way it recoils. And now I can go back to it. I'm sure I could. Um, but I didn't use the FAMAS a lot. So I used other guns and a lot of them were very inconsistent. I didn't really care for them. And the game seemed, uh, the connection was not the greatest on Black Ops, I mean on uh, Xbox where I was playing. And, uh, you know, it just, it was one of those games where it had great potential in my mind. It just wasn't the greatest. Um, but it is what it is. I don't know. Yeah, I can go back and play it now and have fun on it. But, uh, then you got World at War, which I didn't really play a whole lot, so I'm not going to talk about it because I didn't play it much at all. And then Advanced Warfare, and everybody knows how I feel about Advanced Warfare. It was awful. I'm not going to cover that. But there it is. That's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you didn't, uh, I'm sorry. But if you do like our content, subscribe. And uh, we'll be here tomorrow and the rest of the week through Saturday. We'll see you later, guys. Peace.